Hello everybody. Tonight I'm gonna show you how to make Dolly Bobble's 3D Max it. First of all, we're gonna start file set to remove any previous use for 3D Max. Yes, yes. No. We're gonna select from the imagery. I'm gonna select a box. At the top of the view, we're gonna make a box with 13 for length, and 13 for width, and also for height with length segment with 3 and 3 for width, also 3 for height. So the box gonna have it will be look like something like that. We're gonna make a zoom over here, yeah, it's good, and also here and sorry here. Yeah give you okay. Now we're gonna keyboard we press four just to see the lines on this geometry created and the perspective view. Now at right click select the box and right click. So right click convert to and we select the poly. Convert to convert to editable poly. We press yes and select from the editable poly here, select poly. Okay. Now we can detach each face of this box. Each three together. One, two, three. Sure. We can select threes by keep press and the control. Let me show you again. We press one and control hold control button on your keyboard and press other box now other face and other one. Okay. Now detach here at the geometry, I did geometry, sorry, we press 1 and select detach the two elements and this will make them detach as object 1 it will be disabled like this and then we press OK here we're gonna select other 3 like this, detach and OK other 3 like this, detach and OK now here we select the vertical one, we should the other face to be horizontal so we're gonna select like this 1, 2, 3, detach, yes, 1, 2, 3 this touch uh, and we're gonna do same for all faces sorry here and the touch yes here we're gonna select other way one two three the touch yes and one two three the touch one two three the touch okay now we're gonna make a rotation just to see other faces we cannot see here we're gonna make more like this exactly and we keep this one we can see so we know how we should select other faces like this oh, sorry one, two, three, the touch, okay. One, two, three. Same. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're gonna make a rotation. We still have two faces more like this, exactly. We're gonna make it wide or let's say with with the width or using the touch exactly. Mm -hmm. Also the touch. Keep press okay. Each three boxes or three squares should be separated together. Now we just have the last faces of the box we created, which is the last one here. Now they're right. One, two, three, and the touch. Okay. One, two, three, and the touch. Exactly. One, two, three, the touch. Exactly. Now we're done detaching the each faces or each box the box we have created. Now we can select which is called mesh smooth from the editable panel mesh select. We're gonna keep press on M to select this one which is called mesh smooth. We press yes and we're gonna make here iteration to do. Make sure it's just to because it's need more time when we do it for rendering. If we use three or four we use three mouse gonna start. But it's gonna take a more time with the rendering. Now after we select the mesh smooth, we're gonna select right click again for the geometry we created which is box here and convert it to editable ball like this. It's more details for this one and it comes editable ball as a one object. The mesh smooth is already will be in the same box. Now we're gonna select the other one here which is called spheric. We talked about in the previous class, which is make the object look like more sphere. Sphere this one exactly. Select it. It's become more like a sphere right now okay okay now after that we're gonna right click again and convert to the table ball again which is included the sphere to the object now select ball from here and select whole object like this and we find that in the ball we read this one in the ball ball like this we select something called bevel okay it's become 10 and minus 1 we select local and we select let's say we select here minus a point sorry point two and here dot one five okay minus uh, sorry point two and point one five and we blow press OK like this. Now if we make a render here by pressing it on it's become good but it's need one more thing which is select the whole object again and here from the 
geometry panel or editable panel what we can call it we select much smooth again this one exactly and we put it here other two and now I think it's done and it's become a full pole exactly that's what we're looking for we just need one more thing now it's to deselect this one by select the vertex here exactly select the pole deselect the poly and change the color for the light so it's become more real like this and then I make render now it's become a volleyball and it looks so good I hope you like it and it's a way to make a volleyball a real field boss in the previous class we learned what we learned the soccer ball now it's a volleyball and next class we can show you other thing you can create easy with 3d max thank you for joining and have a good one bye